and the winner of the Best Documentary Award, Dan Goldberg and Danny Ben Moshi. Code of Silence is an exceptional piece of work that contributes significantly to public understanding of the failure of institutions, both religious and secular, to protect children because they were more concerned with defending their reputations. The participants courageously risked ostracism for their involvement with the filmmakers whose commitment to truth-telling shines through. If I can't come forward, can't go public about this issue, there is no way anyone else will. So as a victim, I needed to stand up. I just needed to. As a boy, Manny Wax was sexually abused by an Orthodox Jewish security guard employed by the Yeshiva Center in Melbourne. People often think about the toll on the victims, but there is an incredible toll that the victims' families also, also have to pay. When Manny went public in 2011, alleging high-level cover-ups, he shattered a millennia-old ultra-orthodox code of silence. It's a bittersweet moment to be receiving a claim for a story we should never have had to tell the story of child sexual abuse inside the religious institution. So I want to thank the Walkleys and predominantly the ABC and Campus, Rose Hesp at Campus, Phil Craig, the head of Factual, Jessica Douglas Henry at Campus, and to Screen Australia, Sam Griffin in particular, Screen New South Wales, Dylan and Mark, Film Victoria, Jenny McMahon, all the crew at Mint Pictures, Adam Kay, the EP, and my business partner, and finally to Manny, Zafania and Chai Wax, who had the courage to blow the whistle despite the consequences. Thank you. It's a privilege to be in an event like this, um, but it's also a major privilege to be allowed into someone's lives, uh, which when you're a documentary filmmaker, they allow you to do and to really get behind the issues, such sensitive issues, that they trust you to tell the story. And the reason why we could do that with Code of Silence was because the talents, the cast, bared their souls. And I hope through this film it helps cast further light on an issue, as Dan said, shouldn't be out there. And media and documentary can continue to be a force and a facilitator for positive change. Thank you.